Hey, this is Matt with Tadlock Roofing. We're here at Nature's Hideaway. I uh, just want to highlight what we're talking about here on this um, back building. I believe it's 6075 or 6057, unit uh, 112. Um, we've done the repair, as you know, here. Um, and I'll kind of point out where the, um, where the leak is happening. This tree is just to the right of the window uh, in the master bedroom of this unit and so the leak if you were inside the unit is just to the right of the window and back somewhere around right uh, Here in this area. So when I initially came up here to do repairs Nine times out of ten where problems are coming from are from penetrations so we've got three penetrations that are directly above that spot and Like I said nine times out of ten we've done it on other buildings where that has resolved um, our leaks. So um, I've looked at these repairs. They're done really well. Uh, we've got shingles coming down. No water can get underneath these areas. It's all sealed um, nice and uh, nice and good with the, you know, with the bead of adhesive underneath the shingles here, um, as well as some some roofing cement around the uh, the new lead boots here. Um, so it's like that on all these. They look really good. Now the issue that I um, mentioned in the email about the decking and how sometimes on you know commercial projects like this uh, they'll use some inferior products as far as you know wood and whatnot to just save money somewhere well i'm hoping that you can see as i look down the roof here you can see kind of the waves in the decking and what that is is in between the trusses and you can really see it down here um, inside or in between the trusses you've got that wood that is flexing so it lays right on top of the truss and then before it gets to the next truss it's kind of uh, you know collapsed there in the center and so what's happening right here is we've got a truss that's right here roughly over where I'm standing and then we've got another truss somewhere in here so they're they're a couple feet away from each other um, but in between them that decking is is bowing and so I'm gonna try to get a better angle so you can see it on the video and I'm hoping that it shows up here um, but you can really see kind of the, the hump there uh, that'll show you that it kind of comes down in that section and so what we're uh, pretty sure is happening is you give anywhere for water to sit even for a moment on shingles shingles aren't designed to hold water at all they're they're meant to shed the water off the roof so if we get water that sits here because it's got that um, you know that that valley shape to it uh, then it can find a way through the roof so uh, just to reiterate what I said in the email what we'd like to do in order to resolve this is to do a larger swatch because the leak is somewhere again in this area where it's where it's visible if you went straight down it'd be visible inside the unit somewhere in this area so do a larger swatch since we've got that problem right here um, up to just above this uh, plumbing stack right here and then come out and redo the decking in this area to get it flush with the um, plane of the shingle so that we don't have that problem anymore and i just kind of want to highlight um, the extent like if you let this go on for too long and you know we know that these these roofs are not doing too well uh, in some areas um, I'll just kind of show you what can happen right here you've got this area where the shingles are really mounded up and uh, what's happening there is moisture's gotten under the shingles into the decking and I kind of show you that the decking is peeling up away from so there's a seam here between two sheets of plywood and it's peeling up away from uh, where it has been nailed into um, so over time with the issue that we've got over here with moisture coming in in that spot the same thing will end up happening so we want to get these resolved for you um, just to make sure that um, you know we don't have any leaks in between now and when the uh, uh, when the unit needs to be re-roofed. Uh, but that's it. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, let me know.